all right guys what's up sam here with another nomad survival video today we're going to be talking about the most controversial character in this game and that's going to be the rat folk archer and why maybe you might want to play it and what the future looks like for the class um, it's definitely one of the characters that has the most complaints and questions about it just because in comparison to a lot of the other characters basically every single character it is significantly weaker so there's a lot of questions on why you would ever want to play the rat folk archer so the rat folk archer is one of the first classes that you are able to purchase and to get it you have to have the pest control achievement and you just have to basically clear a thousand rats you'll do this on the first map that's how you'll unlock it so the rat folk archer is the fourth character so its sp cost is going to be 400 for its weapon ability which is called trick shot and basically you're just going to be firing off an arrow towards wherever your mouse or cursor is and it bounces off the edge of the screen and pierces enemies you can have up to three arrows at the same time and if you're ever in a situation where you're shooting more than like three arrows so like say you have three arrows on the screen you shoot a fourth one it's going to be getting rid of the arrow that has been alive the longest that way you're able to keep arrows up as long as possible and then at level 20 and level 40 you get up to nine arrows so in regards to which heritage to choose, like always, the statue, kind of whatever. I don't know why you would ever pick this, especially with the Rat Folk Archer. It's probably the worst combination for the statue, so do not recommend. Um, the Merchant, kind of the same thing. The Rat Folk Archer, I don't think, is really strong enough to stand on its own with its weapon skill, basically. So the Merchant really forces you into just going with whatever shows up. So I don't think that's the best choice for the rat folk archer summoner same thing as always if you're having issues with projectiles or boss skills the summoner is a great choice as the summons are able to actually destroy those abilities uh the void walker the void walker is actually a pretty good choice for the rat folk archer mostly because the class actually has issues with clear early on and by upping and choosing the void walker you'll get to deal like damage when enemies run into you basically it's not a ton but it's enough to get you through those first like five to ten levels and this will help you kind of get you your feet under you the berserker definitely a class i don't recommend unless you're very comfortable with dodging it can work really well because you are one of the few you know totally ranged characters so you can just run and kind of aim at things and dodge really well if you have like nice movement speed and stuff like that but i don't really recommend the berserker for the rat folk archer the pox bringer however is definitely one of the best choices for the rat folk archer and mostly because you're ranged and so you're able to damage enemies before they get close to you which gives the pox bringer enough time to apply that poison damage pox bringer is also very very good against bosses because you can just rack up a bunch of stacks on them and deal a lot of damage so highly highly recommend the pox bringer and then as always nomad always a pretty good choice i actually think the pox bringer is the best choice for the rat folk archer but the nomad if you're having issues just not getting the right weapon skills it's gonna help you out with all those free rerolls so we'll go pox bringer and just go double exps thought i could show you this so this is what the arrow looks like basically it goes wherever you aim and since we're playing pox bringer it's not going to deal damage immediately but it does deal it generally before anyone gets close to you so for this class you're obviously going to want to go things like projectile speed you can go crit chance you can go crit damage those are all really strong choices if you're not going to be playing nomad you're gonna have less rerolls so you're gonna be forced into picking abilities that you might not exactly really want but just go whatever is the least negative towards your build and that'll probably be the best choice another thing that i recommend for this class is actually death sting if you're going pox Ringer, this gives you a lot of free ticks which are basically chances to deal that one shot and Death Sting works really, really well with Pox Bringer because of that. And I would also recommend Curse, just because Curse is honestly one of the best skills in the game. That's the ability. Let's see if I can roll it and get lucky right now. Probably not with my luck. And this is why we go Nomad, okay, team? So you get all those bonus rolls. But Curse is basically uh, every single level you get a 5% chance to have the enemy explode when they pass away or die, for uh, lack of better terms. And it's just a very, very strong ability. It helps with clear a lot. So if you're struggling, 
Curse is fantastic, but as you can see, in comparison to all of the other runs that I've done, you can see that uh, enemies are getting a lot closer than they ever do in any of the other builds. And I mean, it's not because the Ratfolk Archer is really like all that terrible. It's just, it really doesn't have the same clear as some of the other classes in my opinion. And you can rectify that with crit damage and SP regen so that you're shooting as many arrows as possible. Right now we're at 6 arrows because we hit level 20. So you can have a total of 12 going on because of Spectral Sword. But I still feel like it's very weak in comparison to some of the other abilities. So generally you would like help yourself out by picking up things like Chain Light Shock and any other weapon skill that you really are comfortable with playing. I don't really think it's that important what you go, mostly because if you're playing the game just on default, it should be very straightforward for the first two maps. The third map, the difficulty really does ramp up, so if you're having issues there, don't feel bad. It's totally understandable. That map is significantly harder than any of the other maps that are in this game. But for the first two, you should be able to pick whatever it is that you really want, basically. So. Try out things, see what works best for you, and if you're still having issues, go ahead and check out any of my videos. They'll probably be a little bit helpful. I also have pretty detailed information on every single weapon skill and what it looks like at level 10, so definitely go take a look at those if you want to try a certain build and you're not sure what it does. The last thing is going to be beta information on the Ratfolk Archer. The Ratfolk Archer is the last character that has had updates for it on the beta. It has two evolution paths so far, one of them being a damage over time evolution path, which it's kind of interesting because as you can see with the Poxbringer, I mean, we have a pretty decent damage over time option. So having an additional one, it's going to be interesting. It's going to work probably really well with Death Sting, but I don't see it really being the main choice for a lot of players. And then there's also the infinite quiver which is exactly what you think it is. You kind of have a machine gun for a bow, which is really fun. When you go crit, it's a pretty fantastic build. And you also have, there's this one, it's called, they're like magical circles. Basically, you'll have a little circle that you can shoot your arrows through and they get bonus stats when that happens. So I have a video on that one if you want to go check it out and uh, definitely let everyone know what you think about it because that's definitely one of the most contested characters right now on the beta and on the game in general, the Ratfolk Archer doesn't really have you know a ton of love basically so I definitely recommend it because I think it's a very fun class to play purely from the state like having fun it, it's it's enjoyable I've always liked bows in every game so this is a fun class for me but if I'm like min maxing I'm never gonna be playing the Ratfolk Archer it's just not that strong in comparison to all of your other choices so I recommend it for the first and the second map but for the third map, at least for your first couple of attempts, I definitely think you should get the clears with other characters so you have a better understanding of what's going to go on for that map. Only your first time. After that, feel free to do whatever it is you want. However you want to play, it's always the right answer. You don't have to do anything any other way. Whatever makes you have the most fun. As always guys, I really appreciate all the support and I will see you on the next one.